Sheesh. We made it to another TV show series. Okay, so on the Patreon, go join me over there, Fooling Three Actions, and you can put your opinions on the post. So on the Patreon, we made a post. Reacher is rated a good 80%, but this is what won the post. So go join me over there. Be up for the next post. I think we're going to binge a TV show series every week. The same or a different one, as long as we get it all done. Um, we're going to do it every week. So look forward, especially Patreon, look forward to pose and post more frequently. You know what I mean? So we're going to stay more consistent. I'm going to be more professional with y'all. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. But you guys know I work a full-time job, a factory job at that. My feet hurt when I get home. You know, I work night shift at that because I cannot work day shift because... I'm going to schedule with other people, my kids. So, <laughs> um, I hope you guys understand. Appreciate me. You know, I appreciate you guys staying consistent with me, showing me love. That's why we're binging this. That's why I made a poll for you guys. Reacher, this is what you wanted. This is what won the post. Okay, let's go to Reacher. Reacher has season one. It has season two. Season one and two. Season one has eight episodes. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's explore it. Let's check it off the list. Um, if I'm hungry, I'm going to eat. I'm sorry. This is not a mukbang. <laughs> this is not a mukbang. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's explore it. Let's see if the hunger's eyes put your opinions down below. Let's stay consistent with each other. Let's knock out eight episodes, and I think they're an hour long each. So we just going to sit here, relax, and let's get to it. It is my daughter's birthday, so we might take a little break. We might take a little break. Uh, let's go. Episode one through episode eight. Put your opinions down below. I'm looking for comments down in the comments. <laughs> I'm looking for your opinions, honestly. Um, it goes a long way. It shows you that you guys are interested, that you guys are here for the action, the thriller. Let's see what this is. It says mystery, drama, action, adventure, and crime. That's a lot. That's a lot. And then you see one man with muscles, and he looked like he got a tight booty. Is that a gun by his butt? Okay, Reacher. Let's get to it. Nigga! I might make a game channel to you guys. I told you guys we just, we gonna hustle. So if you find it on YouTube, come across it. Just subscribe. I'm not promoting it. It is what it is. <laughs> Georgia Oh somebody just got laid out You the you the killer why you running <gasps> Running zigzags Oh he, he got your ass Damn that was quick Oh that's an assassin he got gloves on and everything is he beating a dead body? Mm. Sir, that's sick. You're sick son of a bitch. And then he covers it with a box. A box you move in. No, no, I don't want to go out like that. That's sad. Y'all let me know now. We gonna like this? We gonna like this or no? Is it litty or shitty? Margrave? Is that how you pronounce that? Sorry, I'm not good at math. Don't forget math. the 40% tip. I messed up, okay? How am I supposed to get ahead when you're wasting my goddamn money? Sir, why are you out to eat then if you can't give a 40% tip? That's only like $14. Broke ass. Broke ass. I'm talking to you, stupid. I don't know. I would take his muscles in consideration. <laughs> Before I talk my shit. <laughs> I'm just having a bad day. Okay. Won't happen again. He low key cute. It might grow on me. He might grow on me. I don't know yet. Coffee? Black. Ooh, and he like his pie. coffee black. Okay. Sorry, I drank some coffee, y'all. I'm gonna talk a lot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's why I, have, I, drunk, I haven't drunk coffee in like three months, y'all. Or two months. I don't know. It's been like two months. Sorry, but I'm going to finish my pie. Come get me. <laughs> What'd he do? No. What'd he do? Slide though? out from behind that boot. Nice and slow. Do it now! How are you that scared and you the sheriff? Be so cool. Hands behind your head. Interlock your fingers. Interlock your fingers. Turn 
around. I just think this is dramatic. If you step over here, I can There's process you. There's no way y'all that scared. Be so for real. I'm not asking, sir. I'm telling. But don't worry, I won't kick your ass unless you make. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I'm not scared of you. <laughs> we like her. <laughs> Who's carrying? What's that about? Two hundred. Two twelve. This looks like some kind of foreign deal. Army. World yeah. War II model. Army? How you don't know that? You a shit boy. I mean, yeah, I think y'all being dramatic. Explain to him his constitutional rights under the Fifth and Fourteenth Amendments, then hope he waves them of his own free will. Yup. Yep. <laughs> Body was found by the highway embankment near an overpass, partially covered by flattened out cardboard boxes. Oh. Two nine millimeter, 95 grain close range shots to the back of the head. No casings found. When he wants to. And why don't you need a lawyer? Because I didn't kill anybody. This Reacher fella. So far, run on his prints has been clean, but something could still turn up. But there's no Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, no driver's license, mortgage insurance claims, no online profile at all. The only proof Jack Reacher exists is the fact that he's sitting in that room. He's a nobody. Maybe he wants it like that. Sheesh. Can't see me. <laughs> completely unhinged totally different profile from your professional shooter something wrong oh uh, yeah why are you shaking no you the killer why are you shaking <laughs> with roadside cardboard well, the third guy's so worried about getting out of there he grabs some nearby debris and just lays it across the corpse you said the victim was big so most likely his feet were sticking out and that's how he got spotted Tall people never have enough room for their feet. Interesting. Th Shots fired to the tall people. I'm short, so I don't care what he say. <laughs> Why? On account of Blind Blake. Okay, who's that? Blue singer. Legend has it he died in Margrave a long time ago. I figured I'd learn a bit about him. That's why you came to town? Nah, I don't believe it. <laughs> That's why I came to town. The number found in the dead guy's shoe was on a Scrap of paper with the word pluribus written on it. Want to clear that up too before you let you go. You know anything about that? It means I'm gonna be. And then you showed him the number. How you gonna show the criminal the number? <laughs> Army issued furniture will be the same. Fresh start. It'll be just like Cameroon, Belgium, and Spain. Ooh. You new guys that just moved in today. Yeah. This is the way to the beach. Yeah. That's five bucks. Uh-uh. For five bucks. Boy. They corny. They corny. Let's just go home. Uh. No, I want to go to the beach. <gasps> uh. But. You, do you feel better? Do you feel better? I don't have to do this. It's my fight. It's never just your fight. I mean, yes, yeah, four of them. We about to get jumped. Some people are just born unlucky. They just are. And he knew he didn't even have to say nothing, ma'am. He already had you wrapped around his finger. That out good. City girls down a thousand. Been in here a while now. You welcome. Figured you could use a pick me up. <laughs> Not my fault. Well, if you are guilty of something, can't be much. Preliminary run on your prints turned up nothing. Bad guys set off bells and whistles right away. Roscoe, we're taking a ride. Is that good to tell him though? I mean, obviously he might know that, but. Thank you. Sorry, baby. <laughs> Clean up the mess, Baker. <laughs> oh, shit. Who in the tenant car with the tenant windows? I did it. You better tell them so they can save your ass. Oh. He don't look he don't look like a killer. But looks can be deceiving. <laughs> looks can be deceiving. <laughs> I was the one. Okay, so this man you killed. How you kill him? What was his name? Victor. Say Victor. There's a lot of Victors out there. <laughs> 
Brandon. Say Brandon. <laughs> Steve. There's a lot of Steves. Pop, pop. A double barrel shotgun blast right to the face. Sheesh. And then you beat his ass after you killed him. And then burnt the body. Oh, burnt it. Yes, I did. You're a liar. And, and that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> Your life's about to get very complicated, Miss Doppel. You about to be on the front page news, paper, and news. Do they even have newspapers anymore? I ain't seen a newspaper in forever, y'all. I mean, yeah, isn't that cutting out his circulation? Get the boss cutter. Like stopping it's his okay. blood flow? I got it. You can break it, sir. Boy, I can break these panties. <laughs> That was my face too, girl. <laughs> what Stevenson does, he and Hubble were looking at each other. They looked at each other. They held eye contact for a full two Mississippi. Stevenson and Hubble have cousins that married each other. He's just worried about family. Oh gosh. It's more than that. I mean, you like what you like. <laughs> oh gosh. So about 40, which means you did your 20 at Boston PD to get your pension so you can afford a proper Southern soup, but you still look like black Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Death or divorce. At your age, divorce is a higher probability, but you still wear the ring. By the wear on it, you play with it, obsess over it. Like I said, you're stubborn. Damn! Hey, he know too much. He know too much about you. <laughs> Way too much. <laughs> Follow me. Stevenson, my office. Yes, yeah, Stevenson. I got a shoe. I don't know why he confessed. All I know is that at midnight, he was nowhere near that highway. Couple in the trucks. No. He cheated on his wife. No, he's a family Don't man. answer his questions. He's not a detective. Does he have money problems? Yeah. I don't know what to do. Just answer the question. And the brother. <laughs> Who's really in charge? The hell does that mean? You figured out I quit smoking, but can't figure out what's happening right now. Sheesh. Yeah, big dog. <laughs> you helped. <laughs> you helped. Up anymore. Now, Chief Morrison wants you in custody till we know for sure that all six foot four of you was on that bus from Tampa. Six foot five. Ooh. I love me some tall men. <laughs> Ain't no jumper gonna fit you, big boy. But a Samoan fella. Come to here last year, meth dealer, and scrubs made up special. I'm not going to say nothing, but you know what I'm thinking. <laughs> Whoa, sir, that's fast. nasty. Drop them drawers, bend over and spread. Oh, let me see that hold. <laughs> he said it. Victim I'm suspected of murdering was shot by a handgun that would measure four inches by six. That weapon's not fitting inside me or any other human. You're not about to see my inside. ass or my thing slanging. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> my ass right now is you. So if you think you can perform the inspection without getting seriously injured, go for it. Oh, he's about to fuck you up. He said back up off his ass. Mm-hmm. No ass play today. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I would follow him. <laughs> I wouldn't be right up behind him, but I would follow him. Well, that's not good. What's going on? We're not with the guys awaiting arraignment. We're with the lifers. What do you mean with the lifers? I mean people sentenced for Death life. Row. <laughs> Life. Damn. So they don't give a damn. What do they have to lose? So stop stressing and save your Damn. <clears throat> You're gonna need it. Damn. This is tough. Yeah. Man, you ain't taking my ass and I'm not a she. You better fight back. Fight back. Please don't take my ass, please, bruh. No. Life, life sucks. Life sucks. Life blesses too. 
Get my glasses. I can't see without my glasses, you mother. So now you blind. You stupid. Sir, you stupid. I would have fought him. I would have fought him. <gasps> what am I supposed to do with that? Why would you spit on it? That is so backwards. You dumb. Yeah, that's just one more thing I want from you. Yeah, you better keep that in your pants on guard. On guard in him. Yeah, because he ain't about to hear no sloppy toppy. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Look at this, man. But you, you said look at this, but you knew not to come and call him a she. You seen them muscles when he stepped out that motherfucking cell. And then you seen a little skinny ass man walk out the cell. You knew. Ah, oh, baby, you knew which one to tick off. Which one to play with? Which one to play what with? You want? To give you a choice. You see, you're in my house, fat, so and you hey. didn't ask permission. Hey! So Rock bottom his ass. You're fat ass okay. out in the bucket. Not a fat ass! Called you Oprah, bro. Three! Two. It's three! <laughs> What's up? <laughs> ah, a head? He dead. Uh, oh God, you ain't getting out of jail now, Reacher. Reacher, you're stuck for life. I mean, it is defense though. But damn. You owe us a pair of glasses. Hey, on the quick side, get out of my cell and get your, get your, get your mans. Whose mans is this? It said line them up. Line them up. <laughs> Not him with the sunglasses on. Hey. Psychos. Not knowing what will be done to them. I'm gonna hit the head. I'll go with you. Figured as much. You go. Yeah, you going to the bathroom with me? Okay. <laughs> We about to get some bathroom action. Fighting. That's what I'm talking about. Get your head out the gutter. <laughs> Sheesh. If you boys knew what's about to happen to you, you'd leave now. On the quick side. Three. Oh. Damn. Throw the soap at him. Throw the soap at him. Body slam is that? Damn. Oh, he took his eyeball out. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. Damn. If this ain't action, I don't know what it is. This bloody. Damn. He breaking bones. He breaking bones. I don't need help, officers. I don't need help. The hell are you two doing down here? Come on, let's go before the warden sees. Let's go, let's go. Fort says you were placed upstairs. Why are you in Gen Pop? That's where the guy put us. He did it on purpose. <laughs> Come to think of it, he did it on purpose. Major Richa ran into the inferno, carrying soldiers out two at a time. Witnesses report six separate trips confirming 12 were saved. He's a hero. Major Reacher suffered severe smoke inhalation but returned to active duty 32 hours later despite having shrapnel remains of a jawbone removed from his abdomen. What the hell? What? He ain't normal. <laughs> what? <laughs> Over 150 closed cases. All successful prosecutions, more than 20 fugitives captured. Mm. What in God's name is a guy like that doing in Margrave? What's a guy like that doing in jail? Let's, let's think about it. She brought you the info. What you gonna do with it? Nah, he really, he really that dude. He legit. He like, um, John Wick. Uh, Denzel and Equalizer. <laughs> You set us up in Gen Pop. He played off like it was some kind of innocent mistake, but it was intentional. Mm -hmm. Guys in the shower, I deemed me as a person to take out. Once I'm out of here, I'm gone. Something bad's going down in my grave and I don't need to be a part of it. I think you will be a part of it. <laughs> we should have never stopped here. 
figured a guy with no money idea or car could use lift. I feel bad about the Margrave welcome wagon running you over. I was gonna apologize with an early dinner, but if you're not sticking around. Okay. Okay, now you want dinner? Okay, on the quick side. He thirsty. But I'm gonna need some new clothes first. Lockups made me a bit gamey. Oh, we got a Rawls men shop in town. I don't need anything that fancy. Just t-shirt and jeans. She already taken care of him. Buying him an outfit and dinner, that's the start of it. <laughs> So, what really brought you to Margrave? Can't be some blue singer. I don't lie to people who get me out of jail. I'm here because of Blind Blake. Actually, it's on account of Chauncey. We at the Goodwill. This is so cute. We all can relate, most of us. The thrift store, Goodwill. Margrave, and that's where he died. So I got on a bus. Okay, he was dead serious about it. Weird. Nah, he did that on purpose. Nah, he did that on purpose. Yeah, I'ma look. I'ma look. <laughs> he knew what he was doing, ma'am. He know what he doing. <laughs> He's checking stuff off his bucket list. I'm here for it. I am here for it. Most surprised you know Blind Blake, Mr. Reacher. Yep, hold up. Small town. <laughs> when a giant stranger gets arrested for murder, word gets around. Oh, okay, so y'all just gossip. <laughs> okay. Win win. Uh, that there's Pliny Jr. and his bug house cousin Dawson. Everyone calls Junior KJ. I call him Trouble. <laughs> Look at them. Be for real. <laughs> okay, we about to go talk to him now. He literally just put all that on your face. Why would you do that? <laughs> you looking for a dance partner? Ooh wee! Let's tango! <laughs> do you want to dance a Tom Burrito with me? Hell, I'll dance. I'm talking to you, PV. He got hard. I'll give him that. <laughs> no, damn well, boy, he'll push you all the way down to that damn statue. That's hilarious. He said, I want, he said, I want to smoke. What's up? <laughs> he has heart, though. He has heart, though. Reading something interesting just this morning about some charges brought against a major Jack Reacher in a small village outside of Baghdad. Charges of a very serious nature, but charges... Oh, hell, now what you know about me? That's why everybody shouldn't know your business. <laughs> oh, especially if you a killer. We don't forgive as easily in Margrave. What's your back, Mr. Rancher? Well, obviously you stalking me. I know to watch out for you. So thanks. Thanks for showing yourself. Bruh. GMC? He wasted gas for nothing. <laughs> to cool your heels okay, you annoying. And while we get that done over the next two or three weeks. Or you get in the car and we go to the morgue. Perhaps the medical examiner will say something that jars your memory about Hubble and you can share it with me. First you make it clear I'm not a cop anymore. Now you want my help. I want you to do what I say. Yeah, now. he bullshit. He is bullshit. Damn. Martin Luther King said, we not getting separated. He for real too, look at him. His dental works off because he had his teeth fixed wherever he was living at the time. Broke his right arm when he was eight, had it set in Berlin. Had his tonsils taken out at 10 in Seoul. What the hell? I am so confused, like he's Sherlock Holmes. Maybe he kin to them. Maybe they cousins. Maybe they cousins. Like down the line, history, the ancestors. <laughs> I 
pin them against the stove. Didn't know my mother had just turned it off. That's your brother? I'm confused. That's how my brother got this scar. Uh, huh? I'm fucking confused. Oh, he about to kill somebody. That's his brother? Nah, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I, I want to see, I want to see a build up of his brother before they just kill him. I mean, we just seen them as little kids. I mean, are we going to see more memories? Okay, let me not talk because we might see more memories. They killed his brother, y'all. Coincidence, you and he are present through the exact same product town at the exact same moment in time. I don't know. When's the last time you saw Joe? A minute ago in the morgue. You being smart with me? I'm being straight with you. Oh, <gasps> damn. He loved his Sharon. His... Keep my wife name out your fucking mouth. <laughs> Do what I say, preacher. Please. Preacher, them jeans looking good, sir. Sir. Nah, his brother just died. How he feeling? He ain't even crying. I guess I'll find everybody responsible. <coughs> and kill every last one of them. Hey. He got that serious face too. And since you don't know him, we really don't have to stay here. Y'all will never find me again. On oh God, they said I don't have nothing on him. They said the only thing they have on him is that he's in the jail cell right now. So he really can just go about his life. And sheesh, I mean, you know what I look like, but that's all you got. <laughs> I guess that is a big deal that they broadcast it on the news and shit. <laughs> we are gonna be on the run. But no, his um his brother died. I wanted more of a build up. Uh, I wanted more of a build up. But I'm here for it. So let's get the episode two. Like I said, we binging it. I'm gonna go give me some water though because I cannot do this. Um, yeah, episode one gonna get the town for ten so far. Town for ten. Um, the character build up, the sarcasm, the communication. It's all here. Episode one, it's all here. I feel like it was a lot for one hour fifty minutes. I feel like it was a lot. I mean, a lot. So. He is so angry, I can only imagine coming to a new town and you find your brother dead in it. Like literally last night dead. He was like this close of being late dead. Like, you know, the next day he was there. <laughs> That'd be so hard. Eesh. I figure your plans to go to Hubble's house and dig your thumb into his eye until he tells you why I confessed to a murder he didn't commit. Something like that. Yeah, well, I'm gonna be there Maybe. to make sure that doesn't happen. Now I can either follow you the whole Maybe. way we can save the shoe leather and get in the damn car. Okay. I mean, we kind of like them feisty. <laughs> we about to listen. We listen to you. <laughs> For the record, I'm not a vagrant. I'm a hobo. I'm a hobo. Okay. If that's what you want to be called. <laughs> if that's what you want to go by. <laughs> Paul, criminal. <laughs> Man's never so much as jaywalked. I assume that's why you're here with bank stuff. No. I don't know what to say. That the man they found by the highway. He was. And he had your husband's telephone number on him. Say hi to Officer Conklin and Mr. Reacher. Hello, Hello Mr. Conklin. Reacher. Hello, Hello, Mr. Officer Reacher. Conklin. It's just Reacher. Well, this is Lou. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> don't nobody care. <laughs> nah, where your daddy? Nah, he should have been back from the bathroom. <laughs> what is it? Like in the fields? One of those little dandelion things, what I've called? We've taken up enough of your time. Have a nice evening, Roscoe. Time to go, Roscoe. Oh. <laughs> well, guess we're going, Hi. You said there were two things. Some kind of seed. Why would a banker have him on his dress shoes? You went in his closet. Of course I did. What made you think I wouldn't? <laughs> it's an agrimony burr. They're growing tall grass all around here. We call them hitchhikers. That's what I thought. I just didn't know what it was called. Rad. Shit, that'd be the first place I'm going. Let me find some evidence. Yep. He good at what he do. 
Prince of Joe's. Size 13, see the divot? Heard someone coming up behind him try to turn, took two in the head before he could do anything about it. He enjoyed it. Sniper shot from the tree line would have done the job with less risk. The shooter wanted to be close. Maybe it was personal. If someone takes your life, it's always personal. Say that again. It become personal. We was strangers. But now, it's personal. We hadn't spoken in a while. What? Time passed. Nah. Find the motel. They loving each other for from a distance for a reason. What hey. guy? Mister, why don't you come here? We want to talk to you. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Hey, come here. Oh, gosh. It's more badasses. That's gonna get their asses whooped. <laughs> There's two Sixers worth of empties around your car. You've been waiting a while. And since this isn't the most exciting spot in town, I gotta assume you've been waiting for me. Let me guess. Rich guy in a fancy pickup, put a 50 in each of your pockets to take care of me. <laughs> yep. A hundred. Y'all so broke. <laughs> Y'all take anything. Not only are you trying to fight, you drunk and you trying to fight. Okay, I'm gonna whoop your ass now. You're about to get your ass kicked. No. I'm just gonna break the hands of three drunk kids. <laughs> There's kids. four of us here. They at least 20. They all right. Yeah, why would you be the first one? Second one? Third one? Uh. I know where the hospital. Yeah, I'm a driver. Scared. I'm the driver. <laughs> Just giving your dog some water. Oh, I must have knocked the bowl over because I gave him water this morning. Liar. Oh, you didn't? The bowl was bone dry. You calling me a liar? Yes, sir, we are. <laughs> On your front porch, too. Lest you leave my property. Good boy. Bad owner, bad dog. I mean, <laughs> bad parent, dog parent. Last night you wanted to go everywhere with me. <laughs> now you're going into investigation. Nah, you getting too close. <laughs> Intended to inflict pain rather than cause death. Should, shouldn't all that be evident? It's Chief Edward Morrison. Oh my gosh! What the fuck? What the fuck? Damn! Damn! To the left. Print. Damn! That'd be a sucky way to die. Sh shrimp hanging. White dead on the floor. Three people killed my brother. At least four to do that to a guy Morrison size. Holy shit, his fucking balls are gone. <gasps> we trying. We try to keep it professional. We only humans. And they keep showing us, y'all. They keep showing us his body. Where the heck are his testicles? And his stomach. And his they made him eat it. Yup. They said that in jail, I think, or something. They said it somewhere. Okay, Richard, outside. Didn't they say that earlier? I think so, last episode. They made him eat his balls. <laughs> he knows who did. Wanna tell me who else on my team is cricket? Sure. Roscoe checks out because she dug in to get me out of prison. But you're hiding something. Tell me, why does a black cop from Boston with a 20-year pension come work in a southern backwater town in the middle of Damn! Nowhere? Damn! He said, what's up, my urban brother? <laughs> What's the deal? Great. Jail's called an emergency town meeting. Be careful around him. Came down south for peace and quiet. Now I've caught four bodies. Five. Hubble, probably. They do this to a cop, one out a banker. Say that again. But he might be a good-ass banker. They might need him for, like, money. Like, I don't know, to count it. <laughs> 
Do we have a serial killer in my grave or not? These yes. killings are not related. Oh, what about that animal you rested out on the diner? I think she's talking about you. He comes to town and people just start dying? Y'all had him in jail. Why'd you let him go? It's definitely not him. The killer's been living here with y'all. With y'all weirdos. <laughs> y'all weirdos. I have faith in our new chief of police, Mayor Teal. And I promise I will provide whatever funds, whatever resources to find whomever is responsible for these heinous acts. You have my word. I hear you. I think you iffy, but because he the one who owns all the businesses and stuff, right? His daddy, him. Or whoever he is to him. Those are your orders. You copy, I Captain? No, I don't. And the body is by the highway. A police officer was crucified. I think that takes priority. I'm professional. Or did they do things differently up there in Massachusetts? Oh, don't come for him. We don't like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. He trying to take it personal. Nah. We can take it to the streets. It's like, nah, they know though. Like, it's connected. You updated on the investigation. Just leave your contact information with the department before you head out. I'm not leaving. I'm staying. Oh. What made you think I was leaving? my understanding, you were just passing through. You understood wrong. I figured I'd stick around a while. Margrave's such a nice town. That's wild. That's wild. He really thought he was leaving? No! Come here, boy. We already know you dirty. Get some food together. Pack your bags with kids. Where are we going? Got a call from Finley. FBI agent named Picard is on his way. He's taking you into protective custody. I bought a burner. I bought a burner. It's a track phone. It'll be time to grieve later. You have to think about your kids. Yeah. You need to pack. I mean, we rich. At this point, do you really need to pack? Just get a few things that you love the most. Dance, dance, dance. Okay. Mr. Predicto, should Billy keep dancing? All signs indicate yes. <laughs> now you, yeah, you have to get beat up again. Sheesh. Yeah, keep your ass moving. Who could it be? We're on the move. It's not safe anymore. Let's go. I'm not ready. Let's go now. They here. Girls. Nah, girl. Quick, quick getting clothes. You are, I'm sorry to keep saying it, but you are rich. Take like medicine and things you need, but that's it. Yeah, so I'm going to take a few personal days, watch the family myself. Bottom mm -hmm. line, do not let this bite me in the ass. We are talking about my career. Can we trust him? Okay, so he know them personally. Okay, maybe he not bad. I was about to say, there's a lot of sheriffs and cops that's bad. Maybe we shouldn't trust him. But that was the only reason why I said he might be iffy. Because there's sheriffs right here in front of our faces that's bad. Says he got tuned up pretty good while under your roof and now he's suing. Well, he was your prisoner and I'm not losing my job over this. Is there somewhere we can meet up? Get our story straight before lawyers start sniffing around? Bob, I heard all about him. You sure as hell don't sound like a black man from Boston, unfound. <laughs> so why are you here then? I figured you were setting me up. So I thought I'd return the favor. Okay, somebody here with him. Oh my gosh. Hurry up and spear his ass. In a trunk? Oh no, I'm too big for all that. Hell no. It's too small. Put me in the back seat. It'll be uncomfortable. Yeah. Not as uncomfortable as a bullet to the stomach in the hole. It means that when I make my move, you're gonna hesitate. And you guys know what Cato said about hesitation, right? He who hesitates. Damn, loses, die. I don't know. Oh, damn, broken bones. Puta, I'm gonna gut you. I got your puta. Come here. <laughs> oh, come on. We about to just stab each other. That's horrible. Ugh. Please stop, y'all. Please. Y'all should have. Oh. oh. Don't play with knives. Damn. And that's what he said. Run. Run. 
Foot pursuit of one suspect, second and large. I'm getting a beer. Absolutely not. You saw those people at town hall. They were ready to grab torches and come after you like Frankenstein. Frankenstein was the doctor. They went after Frankenstein's monster. Details matter. <laughs> it, it really do. That's why I'll be saying details matter. <laughs> now you can go to your motel right now and sleep in a comfortable bed, or I can arrest you for vagrancy and you can sleep in my holding cell. He's not a vagrant. He's a hobo. He's a hobo. Get it right. Details matter. <laughs> when are you gonna see you can't control him? It's not a twist off. <laughs> not with his muscle. Show off. <laughs> uh oh. They're playing Patsy. You know what that means? No. We gotta dance. Practically the law. Really? We have to dance? I just two step. I just lean back. The world did I do? Oh. Oh, I got you. Oh, 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 oh. I don't need your jacket. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> Keep your jacket on. <laughs> Road east to the highway splitted. No one's getting through tonight. Is there a hotel near here? It just start raining and it's all of a sudden flooded. Bruh. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> you always eat this well? I was hungry. Didn't think room service would deliver this late. <laughs> Probably right. He looked like he healthy to me. He looked real healthy. <laughs> Tracks right through their crops. You still have family in Mark Reef? My parents died when I was a kid, but I had Gray. Gray? I had Finley's job, or Finley. He was my parents' best friend. <laughs> Daisies are my favorite. What about you? Snapdragons. Cool name, hard to kill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's I don't think I know what a snapdragon is. Is it the one that closed its mouth? Like on Crash Bandicoot or something? You know, before we get into it, I could use a real breakfast. It's Agnot ain't cutting it. <laughs> Should have had the Clark bar. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Broken into. Where are we at? The FBI place? Her house? Bruh, where are we at? When they came in, they tracked through the flower bed. Rubber overshoes. They were gonna kill me? Could have been here for me. My car was parked out front. Yeah, I think they would have been killed you. You've been working here. Oh, this her house. See you soon. I'm guessing. <sighs> yeah, a knife or a shank is not going to do it anymore. <laughs> or these muscles. <laughs> Sheesh, episode two was okay. Um, more action, more investigating. Now nah, I'm trying to get to the bottom of it too because who killed my brother? And why? And what's, like I said, a coincidence of me coming here and it was like literally not even 24 hours before we even found out. Like that is wild to me. Um, we about to find out who all the bad cops are, sheriffs, all that. So I'm here for it. Let's, and old girl and him getting real close. They getting real, real close. She walking around in her panties. Yeah. 10 out of 10 so far. Episode three is called Spoonful. Back in the town. From where? Alabama. Our careless late storm flooded the road. He seen me in my panties. <laughs> but we didn't touch. <laughs> Morrison's came after us last night. Broke into my house, carved a threat into my door. Who knows what they would have done if I'd been there alone. They did. Yeah. I'm it's okay. I had my eye on her. Ooh wee. 
<laughs> Both of his eyes. Maybe the third one too. <laughs> Joe was heading up. Uh, yeah, he, he runs. He ran our antique counterfeiting department. Counterfeit? Agent Gordon, Captain Finley, Chief Detective Margrave PD. Had there been reports of counterfeiting in the Margrave area? I really don't feel like, can we just talk about this? Another no, we have to know. So we can find his killer. Yes. Okay, good. So we tell no one until we have a better understanding of what we're dealing with. Okay, um, it'll take me a day or so to copy it all. That's okay. You sound just like him. Ma'am, sorry, sorry. That's all I got for you. Bye. Sheesh. I guess they was doing a doing thing. <laughs> She's sad as hell. Well, like you said, everything comes down to cash. Counterfeiters just cut out the middleman. But multiple murders over monopoly money. People kill over 20 bucks in a wallet. Imagine what they do to protect a limitless supply. Say that again. People kill over Jordans. Over road rage. People crazy. <laughs> what about Finley? Think you might know something here in Sharon? I doubt it. Everybody in Margrave still treats him like the new guy. Yeah. Well, whole town's wound tighter than jungle gym screws. I don't know what to tell my wife. This preacher guy's running all over everybody like you. Stevenson. Yeah, you better tell your wife something, Stevenson. Get your shit together. He cannot c control himself. That's a problem. Mm, does he know something? Yeah, they probably do. Mm. Mr. Spidey. Does somebody live there? Yeah, maybe. Last phone calls. Still home. Oh my gosh, I'm sheriff. Bruh, y'all fired. Y'all fired. Y'all did that on purpose. Like, y'all couldn't tell who it was. Even if you hit him in the back, you seen him at when he turns. <laughs> think you are a pissed off drifter with nothing to lose oh shit get arrested for trespassing pull up joblings file now now i will ruin your life with one phone call do that i'll end your life with one phone <laughs> with one phone one phone cord <laughs> or he gonna beat you with the phone <laughs> bro yep with the cord who still has a phone i mean i guess businesses do the i'm about to say who still has a phone line Stable. Stable it, please. A little further. <laughs> Ooh, this harsh. This harsh, baby. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Security! Oh, don't bother trying to find out my real name. Cause any problems you wish I finished strangling you. <laughs> Just think about that strangle. I guess they didn't know us. Which one of you assholes did Them. this? Thought he was a burglar. How many burglars do you know wear suits? He didn't look like he lived there. Are you fucking kidding me? Yep. Hey, let it go. Yep. Let my people go is what he should have said. We don't live back in the day, y'all. Get that shit out your heart. <laughs> Get that hatred out your heart. <laughs> I'm meeting him at Jolene's. Said he found something. Good. Because so did I. <laughs> I know you found an ass whooping, sir. <laughs> Too early, sorry. <laughs> hey, he had to cook out. Hold up. <laughs> Ow. Just use the phone. Two fried chicken thighs, fried okra. Ooh, wee. They about to eat good. Ooh, wee. That's soul food. Well, how does Hubble's bank fit into all this? I'm not sure. But I'm gonna break into Kleiner's tonight and see if I can find something that connects in. You can't just sit there and say you're gonna violate the Fourth Amendment while you eat. While you eat okra. 
You guys, I'm traumatized from okra. I hate okra since I was a little kid. Traumatized from it. Ugh. Never will eat it again. I don't even like looking at it. I gotta go keep tracking down those rental cars. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm taking those rips to go. <laughs> yeah, don't waste it. Please don't. He came back for the dog. I cannot. Oh, not a single security camera. Maybe Kleiner doesn't want a record of what's going on here. Exactly. Wouldn't that be the plan? Don't get nothing on camera. They, they won't. We don't have no evidence. Nothing will be seen, especially if we doing bad shit. Like, nobody need to see this. <laughs> Damn. All right, y'all. So, we are on the third episode, but your girl's starting to get hungry. So, we chilling. <laughs> we binging. We chilling. Hope you guys are um, enjoying it so far. Let's get straight back into it. Like I said, we about to get a flat screen, y'all. I'm going to save up and get me a flat screen. So, we quit using a computer, but... Like I said, a computer's big, it's not little, so I'm seeing it big screen. Let's go, let's get into the rest of this. We got some good chips, y'all. Yeah, boy, yeah, yeah. Right this way, Mr. Kleiner's expecting you. There's a hell of a lot of animal feed back there. Oh, that's a sow, they all have got cows. Security is high. It's tight. Look at the rhinos on the wall. I cannot. Is that a rhino? They are hunters. Family of skin marks. Uh, just up here, gentlemen. That's wild. You sick. If y'all do that, you sick. I know y'all be doing it with deers, but that's necessary. Well, we have a general number with over a dozen apartments. Perhaps Mr. Spivey has a buddy on the loading docks. Maybe they're just making plans to grab a beer after work. Perhaps. Or perhaps he was calling for another reason. Yeah, he trying to be funny. He knows what go on in his building and his companies. He knows. But if I may speak frankly, after all I've done for this town, after all I've invested into it, I'm a little insulted to be under suspicion, more than. But sir, we didn't ask you to do none of that. Sir, we didn't ask you to do none of that. You wanted to. You wanted to make your coins here. My intention was never to insult you, Mr. Kleiner. People, they want to work with you. They've told me so themselves. We all want justice to be done. But not if you're chasing down theories without any basis in fact he about to tell the chief on us he about to tell the chief on us because he dirty i see it now this evidence trail you're following it's a waste of time for you and for me okay or what or what he said leave it of this name horatio finley you might think you're everybody's daddy in this town. But you ain't mine. But you're not mine. Ooh. But you're not mine. I will put my fucking foot up your fucking ass until your heart fucking stops. No lube. No lube. He gonna put his foot up your ass. What? He don't like that. He don't want no black foot up his ass. <laughs> He mad as hell. You know, cursing is a sign of weak mind and weaker character. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, at this point, just shut up. <laughs> yep. Damn! I thought they was gonna say the daddy passed away. They talking about the kids they beat up. Yeah. All signs indicate yes. Damn. It's the way he said it. You're not that safe sucks. anymore. He had to grow up to be tough. No crying. 
Don't show him no weakness. Travel light. You mean live like you? You get used to it. He's a traveler. He's a traveler in this world. <laughs> Been here a year? Who's your decorator, this guy? I've had time to furniture shop. Be good to go. I don't think that's the first thing on his mind either. He ran away from home. Obviously, his wife and him ain't working out. Last thing on his mind is wallpaper around his house. <laughs> Operation, this thing's a hydra. I cut off one head, two more grow in this place. There's no justice for Joe in that. I'm gonna uncover this whole operation, then burn it to the ground. Hey! That takes time, which is something I have. Burn it! Burn it! You guys are so close, you must have told you about Baghdad, right? About those civilians that he killed? And how his connections got him off. Charges disappeared, but nothing goes away completely. Not these days. Jack Reacher is a murderer. I know he kills. He was in the army. Everybody in the army kills, honestly. I know you don't want to see it like that, but they do. They are. They kill. But I don't think he's just killing innocent people. Like, if it was, it was like an accident. In some sort of way. Hey. I'm looking out for you, Roscoe. You are not. You're being a creep. You're fucking creep. <laughs> You're being a creep. <laughs> and you're jealous. And you're jealous. <laughs> so this Hubble guy quit the bank a year ago. Yep. Up and left without so much as two weeks notice. Kind of a dick move if you ask me. Bottom line, we don't really do the currency thing anymore. Paul? They haven't found Paul yet. Paul's still missing. This is sick. Dollar bill. Huh? Mailmen have them because the treasury pawns them off on the post office. The public doesn't like them. Gambling addicts get them in change at the racetrack on account of the standard $2 bet. You know Tanner Spivey? I see regular. that you need money. I see that you need money. Can you talk for this money? Can you talk? Spivey's a friend. And he don't need anyone asking about his business. Look, he took the money. Okay. You said you was in boxing, sir. Sir! You said you was in box. I mean, he came up in our face like he, he wanted to smoke, but... Where's Spivey? Huh? There's some Spanish guys, man. Real fast. That's all I know. He lying. <laughs> there you go. Stay close. Not too close. We about to crash. Okay, sir. Peekaboo. Peekaboo! Hold up. He's behind you. Boom, boom. He didn't kill him. He shot him in the arm. They did? He cleaned up a murder scene. I don't know. This ain't good. This is not his first time doing this. Do you do this in the army? I don't think you do. I don't know. I don't know what you do in the army. <laughs> he did this before y'all. This is not good. I mean, I want to like him, but if he like a killer killer, like innocent people, although they not innocent. Although they not innocent, but you know, we heard the other man say he uh, killed innocent people. So all I'm going to say is, we seeing this, this ain't his first time. So does this lead back to the innocent people that he killed? I don't know. Because he know what he doing. There's a body in the trunk. Who is it? Hello, Spivey. Yup. Shit. Damn. I just knew he was about to make our rounds right back to him. Nope, he did. 
It's no going back to him. He dead. He thought he was being cute. Uh-uh. They killed your ass, sir. Damn. It's a hard not like. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's a struggle out here. When Reacher is around, when Reacher is around, we struggling. We gonna get our ass beat. We gonna get our ass whooping. We better act right. We better act right. Let's get the episode for you guys. So far, it's a 10 out of 10. I mean, the action, the build up, the scenes. I love that it rains a lot in here. I don't know about y'all, but I love rain. It's so relaxing. So seeing the rain come consistently on this TV show, well, one, two, and three, it's like, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, dark vibes, spooky vibes, but badass action vibes, you know? So let's get to episode four. Put your pins down below. Looking forward to them, you guys. Let's get to episode four. Let go.